David Hughes, Cardiff for Euro. Yeah. Friendi hai, amigos, amici, mes ami, friends and fellow Europeans. Yeah. For many of us, Brexit is personal. It's personal for me. I met my wife through the Erasmus program. Together, we're raising one of those million or so little Europeans. Theresa May might call them citizens of nowhere. We call them Erasmus babies. But it is personal for everyone in the UK. And in Gibraltar too, let's not forget them. Because we will all feel its consequences. We were told that the people knew what they were voted for. That would be quite something, because two years later the cabinet haven't decided what they think Brexit should mean. Did people really know they were voting to jeopardize my little boy's right to have his mama live with him? People, whether they voted leave or remain, are entitled to a say on whether the PM's deal addresses their concerns or is just Jacob Rees-Mogg's wish list. I mean, do you think a man who boasts from the back of his Bentley about having never changed a nappy really understands the real problems of men and women and families up and down the United Kingdom? We are entitled to a say because when it goes badly, we will get the blame. The Brextremists will blame Brussels. They'll still blame Brussels. They'll blame Ramonas. They'll blame immigrants. They'll blame Muslims. They'll blame the Scots and the Northern Irish. Sooner or later, they'll blame people like me in Wales. They will blame the boogeyman and the big bad wolf, and eventually they will blame the whole electorate, but they will not blame themselves. I heard Dan Hannon say it in Cardiff a few weeks ago. If we're poorer after Brexit, it'll be because we've made the wrong choices. But it will still have been right to give ourselves the power to make those choices. And I suppose that sounds all right, unless you work for Airbus right now. The Brexiteers are treating this like a political Ponzi scheme. They ask people to invest in a promise, but deny them the chance to read the small print. Well, I say to them, this is still a democracy, and we are the people too. Now, I used to be a member of the Conservative Party. Come on, give me a break. Yeah. I live in a marginal and I used to go and have a drink with my Conservative MP from time to time. He's actually a good guy. But when he didn't speak out, when he didn't try to stop or mitigate Brexit, I told him I can't support you anymore. I hated letting down a friend. But I am a patriot and I will be damned if I let down my country for party loyalty. This is more important than party loyalty. If you're a Tory in David Lammy's constituency, back him. If you're a Labour supporter in Anna Soubry's constituency, back her. If you're in Vince's constituency or Caroline's, back her. If your MP backs giving you a choice, back them. If they do not, sack them. If I can change my vote, you can change yours. So let's let... Let's let the PM know. She's probably not in Downing Street now. She's probably in a field of wheat somewhere. But let's shout loud enough so that she can hear. We are the people too.
This government is making a mess. Most of our MPs can't be bothered doing anything about it. You know what? We need to take back control with a people's vote and get ourselves out of this mess. Yeah. Keep that applause going. It gives me great pleasure to welcome one of the 